My name is Diplura Decay. I am a trilobite. Trilobites are extinct creatures that lived underwater. I was alive around 380 million years ago during a time period called the Devonian, which was a very, very, very long time ago. During the Devonian, the Earth looked very different and much of New York was covered by water. I lived in a sea environment, which today is now a small quarry. How do scientists know that New York State was once covered by a sea? Correct! Scientists know that the eastern U.S., including New York, was once covered by an ocean because they found fossils of creatures that could only live in the ocean, such as clams, snails, trilobites, and brachiopods. This is why fossils are so helpful in understanding Earth's history. As a trilobite, I have a unique body. My body is separated into three parts. My head, which is called the cephalon, my body, which is called the thorax and is made up of many segments, and my tail, which is called the pygidium. There are so many different kinds of trilobites. They all have different bodies that allow them to live their particular lifestyles. Let's take a look at some of my friends. Great job! By matching form to function, specifically looking at the nature of the eyes and whether a trilobite has a smooth or spiky outline and other body features, you figured out how the different trilobites were able to thrive, just like scientists do. By now, you may have noticed that there are parts of me that are different from my trilobite friends that allow me to live my special lifestyle too. I have a streamlined body, and at the top of my cephalon, there is a part that sticks out a little and looks like a special tool. What everyday object do you think this tool looks like? What do you think I used it for? Correct! I like to use this little shovel to burrow in the sediment to find food and hide from danger. You probably noticed that my eyes also stick up, so you probably figured out how those allow me to look around for food or enemies. And my very smooth outline, did you notice that? You can imagine how my sleek body makes it easier for me to burrow and hide in the sediment, with my elevated eyes sticking up above the seafloor, acting like periscopes. Pretty awesome. Every day, I move around my environment in search of food. I am a carnivore and also a scavenger, so I eat other creatures and anything I can find on the seafloor. My favorite food to eat is worms that burrow in the sediment. Scientists do not find any worm fossils in this area because worms have soft bodies. Generally, only hard parts, like my whole body, can turn into a fossil. What scientists did find, though, are leftover worm burrows, which let them know that worms were once here. We like to call these kinds of fossils trace fossils. As I move, there are brachiopods all around me. There are so many of them. Brachiopods look like they could be some kind of clam, but they are really not. They have two valves like a clam, but those two valves look different from each other. They like to attach themselves to the sediment with a body part called the pedicle because brachiopods can't move when they are adults. There are not many of them left in present day, so that's maybe why most people today have never heard of them. There are also clams all around me. Clams are different from the brachiopods because they have two valves that are exactly the same, and some of them like to burrow in the sediment. You might recognize these creatures because so many clams are alive today. Crawling next to me are snails. There are so many snails alive in present day, and they look a lot like the cephalopods, but actually, they are very different. Even though both of them have swirly shells, snails slither along the sediment and the rocks, and some enjoy eating other critters, while others like eating plants. Cephalopods are swimming above me. The cephalopods you would know today are an octopus and a squid. But during the Devonian, the cephalopods we see are called ammonites and nautiloids. They also have swirly shells, but they are different from snails because they can swim through the water and they only like to eat meat. They especially like eating trilobites like me. I am very scared of them. As I continue to search for my next meal, I spot a Eurypterid. Look how scary it is. Do you think they enjoy eating plants or eating meat? Correct. As you noticed in those big scary claws and forward pointing feelers, 
Eurypterids are predators who love to eat lots of sea creatures, and they are also the New York State fossil. Now think about it. Have you ever seen a Eurypterid alive today? I didn't think so. This is because, although they were very successful, they went extinct a long time ago. But their fossils give us hardcore evidence that they once existed and must have been important predators in ancient seas. Eurypterids are also big arthropods whose favorite snacks are trilobites. I quickly burrow myself in the sediment to protect myself from becoming a tasty treat for the Eurypterid. Today there is a storm brewing. Sediment is swirling and moving all around me, and the water is starting to move faster. I enroll my body to help protect me from the storm. My thorax has many segments, which makes it easy for my body to roll up and keep me safe. The storm gets stronger and stronger, and soon there is sediment on top of me. More and more sediment gets piled on top of me, and I try to unroll myself and get out, but I can't. I am stuck here. Today, I am a fossil. My hard body, called an exoskeleton, was buried in sediment and preserved for millions of years and was dug up one day in the quarry. Even though I am no longer alive today, I am a clue as to what life was like 380 million years ago. Now that you are thinking like a paleontologist, keep an eye out whenever you're exploring outside because you never know when you're going to come across me or any of my fossil friends. <laughs>